Are you having trouble putting your computer together? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Don't worry. Take a deep breath. We're going to show you, step by step, how to set up a desktop computer. First, unpack everything from the box and remove any plastic covering or protective tape. Think about where you want your workspace to go and how you want to arrange the different components before you start plugging things in. Next, let's connect the monitor. If you have an all-in-one computer where everything is built in, for example, an iMac, you can skip this step. Otherwise, locate your monitor cable. Newer monitors often use HDMI or USB-C connections, while older monitors may use VGA, DVI, or another type of connection. It just depends. Now find the monitor port on the back of your computer case and plug the cable in. Most cables are designed to fit a certain way, so if it's not working, don't force it. When you're done, connect the other end to your monitor. Now it's time to plug in your keyboard and mouse. If they're wired, they most likely have a USB connector, so you can use any of the ports you see here. You could also plug your mouse into the USB port on your keyboard if it has one. If you have a wireless mouse or keyboard, it's going to work a little differently. Some wireless devices connect using technology that's built into your computer, while others need an adapter. You'll also need to pair the device with your computer before you can use it. You may want to read the instructions that came with your wireless device to learn more about pairing. At this point, you can plug in your speakers or headphones. If it uses a typical audio plug, look for the green audio port on the front or back of your computer case. However, some speakers, headphones, and microphones use USB connectors. Finally, it's time to connect the power supply cables and plug the computer in. You should have two cables. One goes with your monitor, and the other plugs into the back of your computer case. Now plug both cables into a power outlet. We recommend using a surge protector to keep your equipment safe in the event of a power surge. When you're ready, plug the surge protector into a regular outlet. If it has a power switch, you may need to switch it on. That's all there is to it. Now take a minute to make sure you're happy with your workspace, then turn your computer on. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.